Hello. Today we will study about a very simple supervised learning algorithm, the linear regression, and we would solve it using gradient descent. As an intuition, uh, suppose you are given an input x and we want the output y. Say you have to predict the height of a child from the age or the price of a house from the area or the amount of time someone will take to pay back a loan given their credit history. So these are some scenarios where you would uh, be able to apply linear regression. And regression refers to the class of techniques that seek to make predictions about unknown continuous target variable where we have some observed input variables given to us. So, the linear regression aims to determine weights such that the values of xi's are combined to predict the target. The input is a d dimensional input. So, x is belonging to this d dimension and we have a continuous target y which is the real number. So, we have these weights attached with each of these dimensions and each weight is a real number. So, the predicted y, value of y we call it y hat or we call it the function hx assuming this to be a hypothesis. You could simply write fx as good enough. So, we write y hat or hx is a combination of these w's with the x's. Now, we said d dimensions which is from here to here, d dimension. What about this w0? This stands for this intercept of the line or we use this with a simple x0 variable which is always 1. So, the writing of this summation becomes simpler. We have wi xi i equal to 0 to d where with w0 x0 is 1 and the rest of w's go with the xd. And visually we can see that our aim is to find these w's so that we get this line. Okay, aim is to find the w's or learn the w's so that we get the equation of a line and we are talking in terms of two dimensions. Otherwise, we would call it a hyperplane. So, for 2D, we have the equation of a line and for unknown x values, we would want to predict the y's. Okay? So, how to find this best fitting line? For this, we bring in the concept of residuals. Residual is the difference between the target and the predicted value. So, this is something which we would not want uh, to be high. Okay. And so, we define loss as the function of residuals. L1 loss is the sum of absolute value of all the residuals. And L2 loss, also known as least squares loss, is the sum of square of all the residuals. And this loss we would want to minimize. So, this is our objective function. In this linear regression algorithms, our objective function is the loss and we want to minimize it. So, the least squares loss for a given data point xi is written like this hx minus y squared, where it is w xi. Again, the same thing summation minus y and square of it. And overall loss for n examples, if our training set is of n data points, then we sum up all the loss, all the loss, uh, the loss values for individual n examples and this would start from the first example. Okay. Now, how do we minimize this loss function? We use a search algorithm for finding the weights to minimize LW. See, we want the best line, right? We have these data points, okay? And we would want the best line so that the loss is the minimum. 
so we use a search algorithm where we would start with random or initial set of weights and we go on updating so we use the gradient descent algorithm and the update is as follows a weight wj attached with the jth dimension of the x input is updated as follows we have alpha which is the learning rate multiplied with the partial derivative of the loss with respect to this wj okay and now we compute the partial derivative so this del by del wj lw we rewrite it and we have introduced this half over here only for mathematical convenience because this half will cancel off this 2 when we take the derivative of x squared we get 2x into the differentiation of x so this 2 cancels off this half so here we see this we have no multiplier here so del by wj of this value is nothing but hx minus y into del by wj of hx minus y and hx we recall is this okay so we take this uh, again we take this uh, the summation and we will see that when we are i'm correct we are taking the derivative with respect to wj and what is this summation w0 into x0 plus w1 into x1 dot 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 plus wj into xj plus dot 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 so derivative with respect to wj will give us xj so this is what we get for this portion and y is a constant where wj is the variable with respect to which we are differentiating so our this partial derivative value comes out this and our update rule becomes wj equal to wj plus alpha y minus hx into xj we have inverted this minus sign and this is called the lms update rule least mean square update rule or the withdraw hop learning rule so we have now established the rule by which we will update our weights so the rule and how we use it we could do it in terms of batch gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent in the batch gradient descent we update the weights by accumulating the values for all training examples we'll do exam uh, problems considering this approach in our future videos and we have the stochastic gradient descent where the weights are updated for every training example now we take a very simple example before we end the video so our values are x equal to 2 y equal to 6 which means we are talking only in terms of two dimensions because our x0 is 1 so this the other x is one value here and y is 6 so we take two weights w0 is 3 and w1 is 2 these are the initial weights random values we have just selected and the learning rate we are choosing as 0.1 so the hx value using these w0 equal to 3 and w1 equal to 2 is 3 plus 2x 3 plus 2 into x is 7 so this is the initial hx we get note that the target is 6 and the hx we computed is 7 so there's a difference so now the weight updates using this update rule we have written it here for reference so w0 is equal to the initial w0 which is 3 plus the learning rate into y minus hx into x0 and this we get as 2.9 w1 is initial w1 plus learning rate y minus hx into x value which is 2 so we get this as 1.8 okay 1 uh, 2 minus 0 0.2 so after these new computed values of w0 w1 our hx becomes w0 plus w1x which is 6.5 see this seems to have gone closer to 
the target. However, this is a very simple example, but it, it illustrates how the weight updates are done using the LMS update rule and how you can go on until convergence. Okay, so weight updates with a single example has been done. We'll look into more such examples in future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.